We're out here today at planting time working with our eight row research planter. And today as we plant this corn in this plot, we're looking at the 360 bandit. You know, for the last six to seven years of my farm, we've been banding nitrogen on each side of the corn row. And we're looking for that to become much more efficient. We know that banded in is 2x efficient over a broadcast nitrogen. And that's simply because of microbials. As Mike and his team warm up in the spring and they start to break down residue, they're going to feed on that nitrogen. And that corn plant's going to start to struggle as it starts to look for its meal ticket. So in this case, the 360 Bandit has a disc on each side. We're three inches over to the side of the seed. Because of dryness in this plot, we're two inches deep here today, and we're planting 34,800, so about every five inches, we have a seed. The Bandit's putting the nitrogen only three quarters of an inch under the ground, and it's by design. We know the kind of row unit down pressure it takes to force a disc to two inches. I'd much rather have these discs going in at the maximum an inch or three quarters of an inch because we know if we cover that nitrogen, as soon as moisture it meets moisture, it's going to start to dilution takes place and that nitrogen is going to migrate down and the root system is going to start to grow out about at boot high corn. Until then, this little seedling plant is going to live off the mama seed and the starch in that seed is going to keep that plant very happy. Then at V5, the crown starts to set and as those crown roots come out, they're going to meet the bandit nitrogen coming down on each side at that three inches over to the side. And by being just an inch or three quarters of an inch under the ground, we now have nitrogen in the perfect spot to keep that plant very, very happy. So let's take a look at what we've done here with the bandit and show you how easy it is to work and incorporate into your planting system. As we designed the 360 Bandit, it was all about keeping it simple. What do I mean by simple? I want it to be close into the row unit. So we're only gonna, the way we designed and mounted it, we're only adding five inches to the overall planter width. But the main thing was we wanted to do no harm. By that I mean if we'd hit rock or stone or hard surface, I did not want this planter to lose planting depth. If we lose as much as a quarter inch in planting depth, that plant where that unit jumped up is very likely going to be barren and we've lost an ear or seven bushel for every thousand. So we spring loaded each side so we have movement. We want it to remain shallow because we understood how much downforce it takes in a row to put a seed in at two inches and then we start putting a fertilizer disc in at two inches, we're going to greatly enhance the down pressure needed. So being very cost effective and simple, narrow, in tight were some of the things we looked at. As I look at the way this disc is mounted, it's got a camber to the inside. In other words, it's angled in, which really helps us on keeping this trench open, especially in a dry spring like we're in here. I don't want dry dirt collapsing in on top of the seed and affects in germination. We have a poly hose tube guide, just not unlike a firmer. That poly guide is keeping that hose positioned so it's always in the track that the disc is making. So we're gonna get a very careful placement of that nitrogen in that three quarters of an inch under the ground. As we move to the back of the row unit, an important option is this drag chain at 360. We added some simple brackets that were strong enough that they're wide enough that this chain's gonna help cover any type of issues as we drag soil, not over the top only of our nitrogen bands, but also if you have any slotting taking place, whether you're a no-till or conventional till or strip till, I love what a chain will do over the top of a fresh seeded row. At the end of the day, I want nitrogen on both sides. I want the ability, if I hit a rock, for those discs to come independent of each other, come up and over without changing seeding depth. I like the fact that we're not collapsing that trench. And then we have hose tube guides that are really going to keep that nitrogen where we want it. Each grower kind of has their own choice on how they actually plumb the actual bandit. In this case, we're bringing a 3 8 line down to a simple push connect. Going down through a 45, we have a 57 orifice plate here on each side for a 21 gallon of total material here. 15 gallon of 32% and 6 gallon of methiosol. For our farm, we put sulfur on every time we apply nitrogen. So we're all about saving inputs and positioning nitrogen to win. And that's why I get so excited about the 360 Bandit.